have felt guilty for resting and relaxing while other people are doing things for most of my life. I was journaling this morning, trying to see where that really comes from, and there are a couple of people that come to mind as in my immediate awareness. And I ultimately feel guilty or have felt guilty for not doing what everybody else is doing. So uh, I'm gonna share I'm gonna share one story is that my mom, I love my mom so much, but there was a point of contention in our relationship and I was about 19, I'm 27 now, and I was still living with her in this one bedroom apartment, probably the size of the apartment that I'm in right now, maybe smaller. And she was working in there, and I believe she was working in the room I was sleeping in, and she was sleeping in the living room. And the space was so small, and I was going to school, and getting good grades was really, really important to me. And I worked really hard during the summers that I didn't want to work and go to school at the same time. I really wanted to focus on my grades, and I didn't have to worry about money. But with my mom every single day it felt like she was telling me to get a job even though I didn't need one I didn't want one I had enough money to survive without having a job but it was still every single day you need to get a job you need to get a job even though I really didn't want to get one and I remember applying for so many jobs that like it never none of them ever panned out and it was just this frustration I would come I would come home from school stressful day of school whatever and I would just be hearing this you need to you need to get a job you need to get a job and I finally was like I'm over this and I'm leaving and I moved out that was the first time that I moved out the only time that I moved out and I was living on my own and I really needed that to happen. So this point of contention, like she has a job, so that means that I need to get a job. That was something that was kind of planted in my mind. And the other person that I think of is my stepmom who she loves a clean house and I can appreciate that more now because I also love a clean house. But on the weekend, you know, on the weekends when she wasn't working, she would be cleaning and there would be this passive aggressiveness in that she wanted me and she expected me to clean, even though she didn't really tell me directly to clean. It was more of, I want you to read my mind or I'll get mad at you if you, do, if you can't read my mind. And it's like, I can't read your mind. I'm going to need you to tell me what you want from me. And when she would clean or be cooking, I felt this pressure to be doing the exact same thing. And I, I'm i not like innocent at all. I have definitely done this. I have been cleaning the apartment while Cameron is playing his video games. And I've been, I would give him shit about it. And I'd be like, what are you doing? You need to be cleaning like I am because that's what I learned and inevitably what they learned too. But I was journaling this morning and I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> All of these things that I'm choosing to do are my responsibility. They're my choice. It's not my responsibility to be projecting what I'm doing onto everybody else. It's my choice. I'm taking ownership that I like a clean house. And if I am the one who needs to clean it, I will. If I would like Cameron to clean, I will ask him and I will be very clear in my communication. This is what I would like you to do. And if he doesn't want to do it because he doesn't want to resent me and he just doesn't feel like it, that's okay. Because it's ultimately me who wants to clean the house and it's my responsibility. So I was journaling about this because I have been, I've been sick the last few days. I'm also now on my bleed and 
I have been on vacation from my business for a while, just really relaxing and resting and taking advantage of the winter season. And I was feeling guilty for not working. And this is because my partner goes to work. He works every day and he's he's just gotten back to work from his vacation. And I was like, Lizzie, like you need to work because Cameron's working, but it's not really true. I don't need to be doing what everybody else is doing. That's his responsibility. It's not my responsibility to go work because that's not what I've chosen for myself at this very moment. For him, this is his choice. He's taking responsibility. He's, responsibili he's responsible for his choices, right? But I'm not responsible for his choices. There's an agreement here between the two of us and I am choosing to do things differently. I'm choosing to play by my own rules and not by the rules that other people have set for themselves. You know, those are your rules. And if you love them so much, then that's great. But don't expect me to follow your rules because I am my own person. And ultimately, and going back to the root cause of why I felt guilty this morning about staying home and relaxing because I know that that's what my body needs. And it's not my choice to be working right now. My choice is to be working when it feels fun because I know that's where the gold is. And honoring my body and honoring my inner rhythms because I know that there is going to be a time where I do feel motivated to do things. I don't have to do things out of fear anymore. I don't have to do things because I feel pressured or obligated. And I felt really empowered by journaling this morning and seeing where that root cause is because ultimately that is not my stuff. It's not even their stuff. It's the stuff that was passed down to them and passed down to me and I play by my own rules. I do what I want and my work just looks different. I mean, I am working and it doesn't even, I'm working right now, it just doesn't feel like work, you know? Uh, I wanted to share just in case this helps anybody else. And yeah, I just felt really empowered to reflect and share. Loving you friends.